Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I am your host, Ida. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you so very much for all the love and support that I received during the time of my grandmother's illness and passing away. Um, it was a short period of time between the two. And um, it, hits, it hit me really hard because she was my rock and also um, I'm her namesake. And it's just a, uh, a lot to try to live up to her name. And I just want her to be proud of every aspect of my life. So again, I say thank you um, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I am so grateful that you guys stuck with me um, during this uh, time that I didn't post a video. Um, but I'm back and I'm working on my spring tablescape. And guys, I know we're doing a lot of tablescape stuff, but this table, the stuff that I'm showing you, you don't have to use it on a tablescape. Just like the piece that we're going to make today, it's good to stand alone on the um, on your kitchen um, table year round, um, um, in your foyer, on a um, buffet bar, um, a mantle if you have a mantle that's big enough for this. So all these projects that we we are making, with, with the exception of the charger, um, you can use anywhere in your home. All you have to do is switch out the flowers um, for your home decor and use your own flowers, not the colors that I'm using. Mind you that the colors that I'm using is for um, the tablescape. So let's get right into it. Well, not right into it, but you know what I mean. So for this project, what you're going to need is um, some sort of vessel. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree because of the um, main centerpiece vase that I found at a thrift store. It's shaped like this as well. It comes up and floats out. You can use a regular one. You can use um, any type of vase that will fit um, between your, uh, your floor foam. And they make these bigger. So you can get them bigger if you need it so um, that your boss could fit through it. You're going to need a round floor foam also from the Dollar Tree. And this right here, they come white. They come this color and it's two in a pack at Dollar Tree. I just went on and painted this the color that I needed. Some bling wrap. some jewels of your choice. I got these from Michaels off the clearance rack. They were regular $6.99 and I got them for $1.74. I know it's a little bit more than a Dollar Tree um, and you know Dollar Tree does sell um, the clear gems but they, they don't have the white and stuff in it. But So you can use the Dollar Tree um, jewels. You're going to need some form of LED light for this project. I got these right here from, I ordered these from um, Amazon. And these have, where well, they change different colors on it. I know you can't see it right now because of um, the daylight, but they do change colors. But you don't have to go out and order these, of course. Dollar Tree has the push button ones um, and you can use these as well so we'll see which one looks the best for our project. You'll need your floor cutters, some scissors, hot glue gun, hot glue sticks and of course your florals. I have them all over here on the side. And guys this is a new place. I set up a new place to record in the house and um i think i'm gonna like this for one i can record at any time and i'm not disturbing my husband because he's downstairs he likes to be downstairs so the first thing you're going to do would be have to paint your uh, floor foam you don't have to paint this um because of the way that it's going to be sitting inside of the round floor foam but I painted it because you know you got people that likes to come and pick up things and look around at it so I want it to be the color scheme so and then once it's dry 
which you would hot glue this together. So you're going to take, you got to do this first. You're going to take your floor foam. Now, when you put this inside the here, so you're going to do this. You're going to put your round floor foam inside of your um, your disc floor foams inside of your round floor foams, and then we'll get the tough part out of the way first. We are going to put our floors in. We're going to cut them off like we normally do. So I'm going to continue this process and when I come back we'll be ready to start um, our floor arrangement. Okay so now we have all of our floor cut the ones that need to be cut and we can start the process. So what I like to do when I'm doing this right here, I like to find a central place to start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these big um, yellow roses in each point at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock. So then I have that. And then I want to go in with some smaller roses. I want to put two in between here. All right, so now we have that. Now I want to go back in with um, some of these, the teal looking color because that's my color scheme so now our top of our floor foam foam is already complete so now we have to work on the side so what I'm going to do is take these daffodils and I'm going to go right up under the blue and pretty much do the same thing with these as far as the spacing That's gorgeous. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our carnations, and we're only gonna use three of those. I got these this uh, thing right here from um, Michaels, and I'm gonna use this for this purposes, and I'm gonna just pull the flowers off and use them accordingly. Guys, when you're doing stuff like this and you want to save money and stuff, you know, find an option. You don't have to just go and buy one big bouquet of flowers from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes buying something like this would be um, a much better buy for you. Okay, so now um, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do some filling. Any place that I feel like I need some something, I'm going to place it. And as you can see, I left some greenery on it, but um, you really don't see it. But I think I think that it just um, it helps do a filler. And if you see the pop of green in here, that that's just says spring more to me. So so now it's all filled in. Um, I think it turned out gorgeous. And it says spring. Spring has sprung. So we're going to set this off to the side and we're going to work on our vessel now. Our vessel is going to be easy to do. Um, you need your uh, mesh, your bling mesh or bling wrap. 
And as you can see, this did not come from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. Um, it, I ordered this and it came in a 30 foot roll. And I will try, and it came from Amazon. And I will try to link, leave a link to this down in the description bar if I don't forget. And if I do, just leave me a comment and say, hey sis, or hey Ida, you forgot to put that, um, that um, link to the mesh. So the bling wrap. So I and then I'll go in and I will put it in there because y'all know I answer all y'all um, messages. So you need one that's the full width of that. Which if you're using Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree comes in three and four rolls. So um, we're going to just say that you found a four roll for Dollar Tree. So you would need to wrap this uh, six times. You would have to. Use your bling wrap and if you had that, you would just go and wrap that around it six times. And you would get the effect that um, we're going to have with here. You also need a two strip. This is a three strip. So we're going to go ahead and cut this into two strips. To a two row, should I say. So we have our two strap, two things. So what you want to do is you want to you want to leave a little bit of space down here at the bottom. So you're going to take your mesh and you're going to lay it across your um, vessel like this, um, leaving about you want to leave about I was going to say two inches. But you want to leave about one and three fourth inches from the bottom, or you can make, and you're going to cut that and wrap it around. Now, this is where your hot glue comes in. I was just making sure that they were even. So you're going to lay your vessel on the side. Keeping it in a line. You to make sure you keep it straight. You don't want it to go around. Um, let me see what this one does. This is my new toy. Once you have that down, you're going to lay this down on top of it. And I'm doing this the back. I'm doing this backwards. Um, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna periodically um, place hot glue along the the mesh. Okay. So now you have that part of your vessel complete. And it should look something like this. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, you're gonna take your two strip and you're gonna, like I said, find the back of it because you want the backs to be pretty much in the same general location. And you're gonna take and you're gonna hot glue this around the edge. So you're going to stick that right there. And see how the edge cap keeps you straight so you don't have to worry about if it's even or not. You're going to continue this all the way around. Okay. 
Okay. So now the only thing that's left to do is to give this a little bit more bling and find the front. And I am going to right here. And it has its own glue, but if you want it to, you can hot glue this down and see that just gives it a little bit more depth. So here's our matching set. And the next thing we're going to do right quick is we're going to place the light. So I'm going to use the one I got from Amazon. And these came six to a pack and I think I paid like maybe four or five dollars for it. And this one right here is made where you can sit the vessel on top of it just like this. And it would, you would take your um, flower base, you would sit this inside your flowers, and you would sit your vessel on top of it like this. And you could just add a candle in here if you want because of the lighting. Um, but I'm going to add the and I may add um, I mean the beans and I may add a candle or um, I may add some flowers in there um, we just have to see when once the tablescape is up and running so then you will add the beading to your vessel You can also add like the water water beads to this. Um, I also have some submergible lights. I can put beads in here and put submergible um, lights inside the beads. Um, I will, but this is the finished product. I will let you guys see um, what it looks like at nighttime as well. But I think it came out very pretty. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, I see you real soon. Bye. Okay, guys, this is what they look like. One has the different color things shining. I like that color. I wish it would stay that color, but it doesn't. It changed red and then blue. Um. So, and uh, I think at night, if it's when it's even darker, you'll be able to see the light go all the way up. And you can see that it's hitting the um, the the rocks, and it's changing the rocks color. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.